All right. So we have done a lot. We're going to have to, I think that contact might be at Tyndall's apartment too, where we have to go to follow up on that thing. I'm just not quite sure. I, hmm, let's see. Um, so we need to do all this stuff. We can go to the storage unit maybe. No, I think that's actually near the police station. So motherly ties, I'm going to wait because that's going to be... That's going to be something that we do when we go to the police station. Let's do Tyndall's thing first. Now, if I recall... What you need, player? Because I know where you can cop some goods. If you want some. Yo, you look like the man who knows where to find that good shit. Upgrades, weapons, stuff like that. There's like a contact around here for Tyndall, too, when we do that mission. Hmm. I'm thinking about getting my pit bull augmented. Get him some you know, cyber paws, cyber fangs. There's different ways I know that you can go with this Tyndall mission. I just uh, don't know which way I'm going to go yet. Let's try to hack this, get some points here. I know we can sneak around, but we can also hack this and try to get some awards, rewards. Never mind, this is going super fast. Never gonna make that. Access to That's moving super fast. I'm gonna sneak around. Where's the sneaky way? Do we jump across? It's that building that I need to get to. Oh crap, I died. I fell off the building. What the crap? I can't believe that, guys. I fell off the top of the building. Jeez. Well, that's the dumbest thing to do. I wanted to get up there. I didn't see how to get up there. Right there. I don't know if I can jump across without dying, though. Here goes nothing. Hey, I made it across. Didn't think I'd make that jump, to be honest with you. That was quite a quite a jump there. And now we're just going round and round and round and round. I'm getting dizzy and dizzy and dizzy. Oh, I got to hack my way into this one. All right. It's just a level 1. Need to get to there, but I want that too. Oh, I got a little bit of time. Why aren't you? Oh, you have to Oh, I have to go around. Oh, that blocks me there. Okay. Access to no you know what I didn't do? I didn't look at the routing before I did it. I just jumped in and started doing it. I thought I could go to the left, but no, I have to go around it. So I was waiting for it. That sucks. Always look at the routing of the hack before you just jump in.
So I do have to go around because, see, I thought I could go from here to here, but I couldn't. I have to go. I do have to go all the way around. Access granted. Now I got it. See if this is updated. Ooh, it has. Anti AUG terrorists at large. The mastermind behind today's hostage ta uh, taking at Seraph Industries is on the loose. He is being hunted by local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. A decorated ex Marine, Ezekiel Zeke Sanders, is a leader of a group of militant pro human activists known as Purity First. Hostages rescued at Seraph Manufacturing Plant. That was me! Tragedy was averted in Milwaukee Junction this evening as Detroit SWAT teams swept through the Seraph Industries manufacturing plant, freeing workers from pro-human extremists who had been holding them hostage for several hours. It could have been a bloodbath, commented Sergeant Neil Townsend, chief of the tactical unit, but we encountered very little resistance. The operation was a complete success. Townsend's words stand in stark contrast to eyewitness accounts criticizing his team for reacting too slowly. The SWAT team sure took their sweet time. They stood around for hours like they were afraid to move or something, said an unidentified man. Well, they were. They were waiting for me. Townsend's department is still deflecting blame for mishandling a similar standoff two years ago in Mexican town when a SWAT team killed a 15-year-old teen, igniting a citywide riot. We hope for the better things, the past and the future. Ours has been described as a bleak city, by, a bleak city beset by tension between race, between rich and poor, between humans and augments. While it is true that Detroit never fully recovered from the loss of the motor vehicle industry and aftermath of the oil crash, can we really allow that to be the city, the ep ep epitaph for our metropolis? Amid the darkness, there is a beacon of light. The forward-looking Seraph Industries have made our city their corporate headquarters after constructing a manufacturing facility they hear. Um, Seraph Industries founder David Seraph hopes that Detroit can once more become a beacon city, a place where reconstruction can set the standard for other places across America. And each day we struggle against the harsh reality of life in our embattled urban wasteland to reach this laudable goal. Obviously we got that computer to check out. Security gate update. Notice to all tenants a new security gate has been installed and activated. The gate code is 0002. Do not disclose this to any new tenants. Safe, safety concerns us all. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, now I got the gate code. Ah, uh, and here's the email. Let's read this. Reaver says, Brian, you the... I know you're here, man! Somebody's in here. I forgot what my silent takedown was there for a while. Man down, merciful soul, expedient. We'll deal with him in just a second. Brian, you there? Yeah. Randy's not doing good. I'll, I'll take whatever you got. Can we meet? Not a good idea. Gotta keep low profile. She's in pain. Neighbors are gonna complain to the cops. She needs new paws. Brian, you there? Alright, but I don't have much new paws left. I'll pay. I don't want your money, Mark. It's never about the money. What about Corella? Can you score more new paws from him? He's getting less and less cooperative. Didn't you have dirt on him or something? Right here in my pocket, man, but you only push a man so far. I'll meet you behind the gas station down the street, but hurry. I don't like being out in the open like this. You're the man behind the gas station. So somebody we need. She's in pain. Not a good idea. Gotta keep. She's in pain. Neighbors are gonna complain to the cops. She needs new paws. Somebody actually needs it though. Hmm. Let's take his weapon. I just knocked him out. I didn't kill him. We got a pocket secretary. Hey Stevie, I'm sorry, man. We just couldn't score as much last week, and I'm all out. I'm not doing this to you on purpose. Trust me, I'm looking for extra sources right now, but I didn't get an answer yet. Just don't do anything crazy. 
Brian Tindall to Skull Wink Mask. Sciola. So we have an update for this one. Let's see what it says. Meet with Tyndall. The blackmail footage wasn't on Tyndall's computer. He's carrying it with him. But an email on the computer suggests he's going to meet someone behind an abandoned gas station on 2nd Street. So if I want to get the footage, I'd better intercept that rendezvous. Okay. Let's do that then. And I did this without killing somebody. That's positive. That goes up. I want to go down. Go out the gate area if we can. That way I can open it up. Zero, 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 two. That one was kind of a hard hack, so... Now I've got access to this area back here, too. Traveler, 100. See, just for coming back here, I got 100 points. And some credits. And a cyber bar. Pays to search. All right, so I'm going to come go out here to this back alley and try to, I guess, convince the guy to give me the footage. I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, there he is. He wasn't there before. Okay. Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. Uh, it's I Tyndall himself. security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries Chief of Security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine. I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain. That just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. So he is the Robin Hood of Neuropazine. Now, if I had the Casey mod right now, I believe that I could, like, persuade him with that. I almost kind of see that Casey mod thing as cheating in a way, because you are you're using pheromones to convince them rather than dialogue, like, to really convince them. So, I, but I don't have the option anyway. Now... I can emphasize, I can respect that. I can respect that. that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Uh, yeah, he's after you. Shit. The They're after probably you. Sent him. Tell you what. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Ah. So I gotta take care of the dealers. Now, I think you could bypass all that if I had, like I said, I had the KC mod. I could just convince him, but I don't. So, yeah, okay, I'll help you out. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. I'm not gonna kill him. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. Yeah, I don't have a KC mod and I don't have Praxis points to get it anyway. I've got one Praxis point. Maybe I should actually upgrade something. Uh, it doubles the radar's range. I like having the radar. Uh, I definitely want to have that. 
I knew I was going to upgrade that to... Yeah, now look at my radar down in the left corner. I can see so much more of what's going on around me. Okay. Obtain the security footage from Tyndall. Like I thought, Tyndall's got security footage, so I've got to get it from him. So we're going to have to talk to these people and try to convince them, I guess. And they're loaded. They are loaded. See if I can do this the good way. A nice Look way. You, man. Another sucker who bought a bunch of crap you never really needed. Look at you. What are you, a goddamn super soldier or something? I heard about them on the radio. Lazarus is the shit. Not like that Eliza bitch. Am I gonna have to take him out? Fucking company slag. They tell you gonna what be to say someday, my brother. And a pretty face. I don't wanna knock him out. And I don't wanna kill him. Dang, I guess I could have used that Casey mod right now. I guess I don't have a choice. Look, I told you, if you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I don't have an option, guys. I don't have enough practice points for the KC mod, and I don't want to kill these guys. But I have to knock them out, I guess. I should take PG and BG down so they never bother Tyndall again. He'll be so thankful he just might hand over that security footage. Dang it. I don't want to kill him, though. I wonder if I can just, you know, punch him in the face silently and not kill him. Because I do not want to kill. And I don't have double takedown. Who the hell are you? Hey, I got a practice point for doing that. I guess that fulfilled the mission. And I didn't kill him. Okay, well I guess I... Ah, oh, shoot! For real? For real? For real? For real? Okay, so that's going to happen. I don't want to kill all these people. <laughs> I really don't. I need more combat ammo. I should do that at the store when I get a chance. Oh, now they're not going to attack me. Oh. I got your back. Now they are going to attack me. I hate that when you run out of energy. Okay, can I boost up? Let me let the heat die down a little bit. Shoot, the entire, everybody's coming at me now. Cause I took these guys out. Let me let the heat die down. Everybody's alarmed. Let me let the alarm go off. The alarmed state go down. Maybe they won't all 
attack me. Still alarmed. I'm going to let that die. One guy is still alarmed. Let me let that die down before I head out. I don't want them to attack me. I did not want to kill people back here or knock them out, but I didn't have a choice with these guys because I don't have the KC, so I had to do that. Are these guys ever going to fall out of the alarm state? They may not. I may have to knock them down. See if he can get out of hostile mode, then we'll go knock him out, maybe. It's just this one guy that's left now. Here he comes, he's getting closer. I'm not killing, though. Okay, that did it. At least I did not kill anybody, though. And now we're not in hostile mode anymore. Well, at least I did all that without killing people, so that's fine. We're still hostile, huh? Come on, everybody. I'm friendly. I'm not hostile, I swear. Oh God. You had it? Go ahead and run. Come Gosh, I'm going to have to take these guys out, too. I just didn't have a choice. I guess when you take those guys out, you kind of anger everybody. That was bullshit. Oh, I can't talk to him while everybody's hostile. All right, we'll come back to him then. We'll let everything die down a little bit. Let's go to the store. How may I be of service? Let's see if we can sell something. I do have a shotgun. No, I don't have a shotgun. Shotgun cartridges I can sell. Uh, can I buy something? I needed... Not... I need combat rifle ammo. Always a pleasure.
I need the alarm state to drop so I can talk to him. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I did. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall. I know your heart was in the right place. Augmentations are a complicated issue, and we're still trying to figure out all the ramifications. It's not perfect, but the end still doesn't justify the means. That's where you and I are different men, Jensen. You follow the rules, but fail to recognize that the rules are written by those in power. Me? I'm willing to do what has to be done. Okay, I got a data storage. I need to uh, yeah, obtain the security footage from Tyndall. Now I need to return to Corella. Well, like I said, if I had the KC mod, I could have done that a completely different way and not have angered everybody in that alley. But I did not have it, and so that's just the way it is. I had to do it that way. I had no choice, but I did it better anyway by not killing everybody. So I did at least do it that way.